What's up guys, welcome back. It's Dylan, our fan of my channel. Welcome. So, I know I just did a shopping haul video literally maybe two videos ago or something like that. Like it was not long enough of a period to do more shopping, but in my defense, in my defense, when I did that shopping haul, the last one, it was fairly cold here. Like it was like rainy, miserable, uh, it was around 15, 16 degrees. So it was kind of like a warmer winter. Like we hadn't reached any like thing near what spring should be. So I kind of bought stuff for that weather, kind of like for spring. Uh, then I went to New York, came back and we were all of a sudden in like full blown summer. Like wearing shorts, t-shirts, all the lightest clothing possible, summer. Um, so I had to do a little bit more shopping and my summer wardrobe for the most part takes a brutal beating unintentionally. Like I am a, I don't know like what it is with my summer clothing, but I somehow manage or like I'm just prone to like spilling more of myself in the summer. I don't know, it's a thing. Maybe it's just like, I, I don't, actually, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. I somehow managed to get like grease marks on it, food stains, uh, then I have to go wash those stains out so then my clothes get faded or even sometimes like my weight goes up and down so things are like maybe too big. Like things happen. Things happen from one summer to the next and uh, my summer wardrobe typically doesn't last a very long time so I kind of have to like refresh it every so often but I do try to make things last a little bit longer than others so. Yeah. So if you know me, I don't really spend a lot of money on clothes per se. Like I'm not here trying to buy like a Gucci t-shirt or like Gucci shoes and like spend like $800, all of that. Like I'm a very frugal shopper. Like I wait for good sales. I buy things that will last me a long time, like all of that. So in case you're wondering what's ahead. But anyways, if you like this video, go give it a thumbs up, subscribe, bell notification. Let's just get into it. So I thought I would do a first impressions for some of the stuff I bought because I got this big ass package sent to me this morning. Uh, it arrived at my door, which was nice because I didn't have to go down to my mailbox, but I didn't get a chance to really try anything on. Like I opened it to make sure the stuff was in there, but I didn't really get a chance to really open them out of their like individual packages and all that. So we are experiencing this together. <laughs> First thing I bought was these black denim shorts in a 33. Um, I don't think I mentioned in my last video that I end up swapping the denim shorts I bought from a 34 to a 33, just because the 34 stretched out way too much when I wore them around for a little bit. So I um, ended up going with a 33. Now these ones were like crazy, crazy reduced. Like I think they uh, were around like $18 and that was actually cheaper than the price that I paid for my other one. So I had to pretty much buy another pair of denim shorts just because. So um, I got them in black right here and I also wanted to get a pair that had no rips on them in case I wanted to go a little bit shorter. So I kind of figured I would kill two birds uh, with one stone in that sense because I also don't have any black shorts in general. So uh, yeah, that's the first thing I bought. These ones I might be returning just because uh, I kind of have like the black ones that fulfill like the want that I have with like no rips. But I did get them in the indigo color as well, size 33. Who knows, I might keep these just because uh, maybe I want to have those a little bit longer, my other ones with rips, and then these ones I'll kind of like make a little bit shorter. So uh, I got these ones in a 33 as well, just in a different color. And again, those were around like 18 bucks. Then I also bought these shorts right here, which I'm just realizing right now that it's almost everything I bought in my last haul video, just in different colors. But anyways, um, I got these navy ones in a size 33. They're the five inch shorts. I got the khaki ones in a size 34 in my last video, but, um, I do have a pair of navy shorts from Abercrombie last year that I got in a size 34 and I find now that they're a little bit, I don't want to say they're too loose, but they just like, they fit perfectly at the moment. Um, if I want something just a little bit more secure, I thought I would try 33 just because it might offer that. Now I haven't tried these on so we will see how they work, but these were around $18 as well. So I figured I might as well grab these and I think now actually that they're pretty much down to like one size. Like for the most part, these are all sold out. So if you're like a 31, I think was the last size when I checked yesterday. Uh, I also bought uh, just a simple tank top for summer. This was around, how much was this? This one was $7, which is pretty much like equivalent to like H&M pricing really. That's kind of how much I usually would spend on a tank top. Like I have a lot of muscle tanks, but I just wanted like a very simple kind of like everyday tank if I want to wear it out somewhere, or just like if it's really hot and I just want to like or even just like the beach. Um, I just figured I'd get like a very simple tank top like this. So this one I got in a large. Then also for shirts, uh, I got this striped t-shirt right here. I find lately like I'm really enjoying the like, greens. Um, I 
hated greens for the longest time because I just thought they didn't go well with my skin tone, but maybe it's because I have like this platinum blonde hair now that like, I enjoy greens more. So I got this t-shirt right here in a large. I find I don't have a lot of just like simple t-shirts. Like I have like muscle tanks, uh, kind of like these camp collar shirts, and I have like a lot of undershirts, but I don't have like simple kind of casual t-shirts. So I figured I'd just buy this one right here. This one, it was $8. I mean, $8 for a t-shirt is literally how much I would like to pay. Originally, I think it was around 30 bucks or something like that. And then also for t-shirts, I got this one right here because again, I don't really have any casual t-shirts. So I figured I would kind of do like this really worn in uh, blue pocket tee. I think this one's really cute to be honest. I mean, I got a large and I'm not exactly sure if I'm a large in their t-shirts. Like all three things that I bought, like the tank top, that striped t-shirt and this one might have to be returned uh, because I might need extra large. So uh, fingers crossed that this works out. <laughs> but I really like the whole like worn in kind of faded blue. I just think it has a little bit more of a worn in look, which I like, it's a little bit more casual. So I got this one in a large and that one, I believe it was around $8 as well. Crazy, crazy prices. These ones, I was so excited to see them go on sale because I was eyeing them for the longest time. And actually, I was looking for a pair of shorts like of this style for like maybe two years, maybe not two years, maybe a year. Because I did a trend video where I mentioned how like pleated shorts are gonna be like a very big thing, but I could not find pleated shorts on like the consumer base level for like the longest time. And I was so excited when I saw that Abercrombie was carrying them. Uh, but they were regular price for the longest time and I wasn't gonna pay regular price. Then, when they were running their sale, they were down to like 20 bucks, so I had to buy them. Now, the fabric isn't, like, this is like the first time I opened it, so I really don't know what it was gonna feel like. What kind of fabric is this? Like, it's not like a stiff khaki short, it's kind of like a lot softer. Yeah, it's 100% cotton. Okay, well, it's just like a softer cotton, I guess, but honestly, I'm here for this. So, these ones are just a little bit like a lighter, cream color, which I also don't have any like cream colors. I have like a very deep khaki now and I have white, but I don't have like a nice subtle cream like this. And I love this kind of like beige color right here. Like it's my favorite kind of tone to wear for summer. Like I love stone colors. So these are a nice pleated short and I'm so excited to try these on because I have been dying to get a pair of pleated shorts for the longest time now that don't look too daddish. So uh, also, I think these will be fairly nice for summer just because they're lightweight. Like, I wasn't expecting them to be this thin. Like, they're fairly thin, they're really soft too. Like, they're not stiff whatsoever compared to like the blue five inch shorts that I got. And also, these ones are seven inches too, so in case you're wondering. And I also got these pleated shorts, the exact same pair in the charcoal color because I figured I might as well. If I had to return one of them, I'd probably choose like this color right here just because I'm a huge fan of like that beige color. Like I love that one way more than this, but it's not a terrible color. I mean, I don't have any shorts of this color, so we'll see how it looks or even just what goes with this color in my wardrobe. The last thing I got from Abercrombie was this shirt right here. This one, I have a hard time with the idea of keeping it just because, I don't know, it's, it was regular price, so I'm still like iffy about it, but it's the black version of the pink top that I got last uh, in my last haul, so like that camp collar shirt. It's just like the charcoal black version, and I have been saying for the longest time that I wanted like a black or just like a dark colored camp shirt that was just like simple and plain like this. The thing is that this one was regular price, it wasn't on sale, so it was around $60 for this shirt, which I mean honestly like that's... Some people would say that's being like cheap if you don't want to keep it, but I just know that like, a lot of the stuff on Abercrombie's site goes on sale quite frequently, so I just like have a hard time with that. Yeah, I got a large in this one, and I'm honestly so excited to try this one on, just because I actually saw this when I was in New York at the Abercrombie flagship there. Like I was walking by, and I've never seen it online or anything, so I really wanted to get it when I was in New York, but they were all sold out of my size. So uh, I waited like maybe a week or something and then this showed up on the site, so I kind of had to buy it. Uh, so that's pretty much all from Abercrombie. Uh, when I was in New York, I did a little bit of shopping. I didn't want to do too much just because of the conversion and all of that. But honestly, these prices are like, they were crazy good regardless of like conversion or anything. So when I was in New York, I didn't realize the Top Man and Top Shops were like all closing down. Like I knew about it, but I didn't realize like, it was like still in effect or still happening when I was in New York. So I popped into Top Man and they were doing like 90% off. Like I think they were like three days away from the store being completely shut down. So it was like literally ransacked, like nothing was left there really. 
uh, but there were like a few good things that I bought there. So I got this green muscle tank, which is the exact same as the one I did in my last haul. Um, like that burgundy color, I just got it in green. But I am like a huge, huge fan of this green one. Like I just love this like forest green here. I, I'm just like, I'm a huge fan of it. I just really like it on like my skin tone and everything. This one was $3 three dollars which the good thing with me buying this one over like the burgundy uh the one is that this one i end up going a size down just because i find the burgundy one's a little bit long so the burgundy i'd really wear just for like beach wear and this one i can kind of wear it a little bit more or even the burgundy one i would just tuck in uh into my pants or something just because i find the length is too long so uh, this one I got from Top Man. It's a size medium, which I never really wear mediums, but I guess this is like an oversized fit. Then when I was looking around the Top Man there, they still had like their jewelry racks uh, set up. So I did buy like a few rings here. So the ones I got were this like pinky ring. Will it show? Focus. Yeah. So I got this pinky ring right here. Um, and then I also got this kind of like, like middle ring finger right here, whatever it is here. And then I also got this necklace right here, but the necklace had like this big kind of like cross or like, I don't know, it was like some sort of like religious thing going on there. And I don't like the idea of wearing crosses and stuff because I'm not a religious person. So um, I kind of just got the chain for the most part. Like I took the little pendant thing that was hanging down uh, off. And I, when I came home, my mom actually gave me this one right here that she got in Italy when she was like a teenager. So this one actually has a little bit more of like a sentimental value to it. but. Uh, regardless of that, uh, pretty much like the jewelry that I got was like heavily reduced. I think these were like $2, uh, necklace was like $3, something along those lines. Like they were so, so cheap and I, I can't even get over how cheap it was. So uh, that's kind of what I got from Top Man. When I was in the States, I didn't really do any more shopping, but that was pretty much it because a lot of the stores that I saw there, we had back at home here in Canada, so there was no point. So when I did come home, I did uh, do some shopping at H&M. A lot of the stuff I bought from H&M, I still have, I have to return it because it doesn't fit. But I did get this striped t-shirt right here because like I said with the Abercrombie stuff, I don't really have any casual t-shirts. This one, I was kind of debating on keeping just because I find the navy and white stripe here kind of can make me look a little childish. But um, at the end of the day, this was like $7. So I figured what's wrong with looking like a child <laughs> sometimes. Got this one right here in a size large, I believe it was. Yeah, in a size large. And then the very last thing I bought, this was actually before I left for my trip to New York, I think. Was it? Yeah, yeah, before I left for my trip. Um, I was going to uh, one of the malls and they had a J. Crew there. And for some reason, like that day when I was going to the mall, I said I wanted to get a pair of like slip on shoes. Like I don't like having to do my shoes up all the time. If I just want to wear like a casual shoe and like slip it on, like I just like the idea of that. And it's so crazy because I went into J. Crew not looking for anything whatsoever. I was just kind of like browsing and they somehow managed to have like these like slip on navy shoes here in the box. Like there were so many boxes lined up and I was just walking through, was kind of like just seeing what was there. And I looked at one of them, they were slip on shoes and I opened the box and they were navy, which honestly I was also looking for a pair of navy shoes. So again, two birds and one stone. And then these were actually marked down. I think they were like 50% off. So they were like 30 something dollars. So I figured why not? Like, I mean, just like a simple navy shoe like this, like I, absolutely love it and it almost has like a denim likeness to it like it almost looks really faded and worn in which i really really like so i'm happy i got a new pair of shoes and i've worn them a few times now and they're actually very comfortable so that is pretty much everything i bought i think that is it for me this summer when it comes to shopping i think i have everything i need like when it comes to like different colors styles all of that um i'm gonna try to cut myself off <laughs> like i'm gonna be very strict at this point and just say like enough but knowing my self-control i probably will buy some more crap and that will be my next video <laughs> uh, but anyways if you like this video go give it a thumbs up subscribe bell notification and if you do want to see more hauls and stuff like that just leave a comment down below let me know i can probably justify my shopping that way if people are gonna watch these videos <laughs> um see ya see ya